To make dot diagrams for molecular substances, what you need to do is first have the structural formula of the substance, for example, H-CL. To draw the dot diagram, what you do is you replace the dash, which represents a single bond, with the number of electrons that make up a covalent bond, two. Remember, a covalent bond is a pair of shared electrons, one from the hydrogen, one from the chlorine. Then you need to make sure that you put enough dots around the symbols so that each atom has a stable octet. Hydrogen is happy with just two because it only has one energy level, which can hold only up to two electrons. To make a double bond, we need two pairs of shared electrons. For example, if we have a double bond between two oxygen atoms, each bond is a pair of shared electrons. So a double bond would be two pairs of shared electrons. And then we need to put in the rest of the electrons to make sure each atom has a stable octet. This oxygen has four, it's sharing. It needs two more pairs of electrons at 90 degree angles and unshared. Over here, we're going to mirror that with four more valence electrons arranged in two unshared pairs. When you're done with your dot diagram, you should have no unpaired electrons. For example, if you had drawn the dot diagram like this, filled in the last four electrons like this, when you draw this, what you're saying is oxygen can form another bond here and here, and this oxygen can form another bond here and here. But once the bonds have been formed, once the molecule is complete, there are no more unpaired electrons. So we need to make sure we show them paired together in that manner. A triple bond contains three shared pairs. So if we have nitrogen triple bonded to another nitrogen, single bond is a pair of electrons, double bond is two pairs of electrons, triple bond would be three pairs of electrons. And again, we need to complete a stable octet, so therefore, this nitrogen has six that it's sharing and two that it's not. This nitrogen has six that it's sharing and two that it's not. And that would be the dot diagram for a molecule of N2. Let's do a more complicated molecule. Let's have carbon double bonded to oxygen, single bonded to a hydrogen, and single bonded to a chlorine. What we do is we replace each dash with two dots. So that's two dots for that dash, two dots for that dash, and four dots for these two dashes. Chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen. This hydrogen is satisfied. Hydrogen can only have a maximum of two. Chlorine has two, which means it needs six more to make a stable octet. The oxygen has four, so it needs four more to make a stable octet. And that's how you convert a structural formula into a dot diagram.